Hi, I'm Omar. And I'm Mia. We're the two bro geeks. And this is Hey, That's on Netflix, Instant Watch, where we talk about stuff that's on Netflix, Instant Watch. Today we're going to be talking about the exciting premiere that is happening this Friday, March 7th, of Star Wars The Clone Wars coming to Netflix. Star Wars Clone Wars was actually a series on TV that was an animated story that took place between, I want to say, episode 2 and episode 3 mm-hmm. with young Anakin, cool bearded Obi-Wan. It takes place between uh, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. And not to be confused with the John D. Tart. Tarkovsky, I can never know if I'm saying his name right, but I love him. He also did a series of Clone Wars that was the 2D animated one. This is the 3D one. It was a pretty popular series for kids. It's huge. I watched it with my brothers. We loved it. Now, why is this a big deal that it is coming to Netflix? First of all, more Star Wars. That's right. We can now watch Star Wars content on Netflix. This is huge. I don't know if you guys noticed before, but there was plenty of Star Trek and other sci-fi on Netflix, but there's no Star Wars properties on there at all. So this is really the first time we're seeing this deal with Lucasfilm and Disney owning Star Wars and Netflix getting in on it. And these episodes are exclusive to Netflix, so it is the only place you can watch these episodes of Clone Wars. So uh, Netflix is taking over as usual. Like a giant empire. Wait, hold on. No, not that. What I'm hoping this means is that we're going to start seeing some more Star Wars content on here. Although what is included in the Clone Wars deal is a lot. Because you're going to get the series, you're going to get uh, season 6 with unaired episodes that we were lucky enough to watch. And they're going to put the feature film on there. And there's like director's cut episodes. It's crazy. It's a lot of content. So we got to check out the unaired episodes. What did you think of them? Uh, well, I actually liked it. Did you like them? I loved it. I mean, I, I watched the show when it was on TV, and to be able to see these is awesome. The action's great. You get some great lightsaber fights. I lo- this is my favorite Anakin. This is my favorite Anakin. <laughs> the bar, for- though, is low. This is a very good Anakin, let me just say that. (laughs) Now for me, I didn't watch it um, when it was coming out, and so I have to, when I watch Star Wars extra content, I kind of have to have that period of adjustment. I I don't mean to be a snob about them, but I don't think I'm crazy in saying that I did not like the prequels, and a lot of people didn't. But I did like this show, once I uh, adjusted to my appropriate mindset. So I guess my fair warning would be, you do have to accept that the prequels happened as you watch these the Star Wars bonus content. It's a price you have to pay for more Star Wars. The art of this series is amazing. Uh, the unaired episodes deal a lot with Yoda. I love There's seeing Yoda. There's a ton of Yoda in these episodes. Like, it's such a good character when we really have not seen enough Yoda. I actually really prefer to see Yoda fight in these than like in Revenge so much of the more Sith. Sense. Like in episode three, I know that people really liked that Yoda fight, but to me, it weirded me out because I in those movies, Yoda's a puppet to mm-hmm. me. So it looked way cooler in the Clone Wars animated yeah. one, actually. Well, the prequels are sort of like Space Jam, where you're just like, why is it a real human and everything else is animated? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad that this is just all animated. It's not distracting. I really like the way they build all the world in the unaired episodes. There's some really cool Miyazaki characters you get to meet. Oh, I like yeah, those. there's a character or bunch of characters that you meet that are totally like a Miyazaki inspired and they kind of reminded me of Avatar The Last Airbender. You would think from the cover and from the animation that it would be for young kids but I don't know if it is. You said something funny you compared one of the episodes to like a Law and Order on Oh yeah, Star Wars. It's Star Wars Law and Order on, on One steroids. of the episodes is Star Wars <laughs> Law and Order. But the other episodes there was a lot of awesome like a spiritual journey and some fighting and you know, I won't say any more than that because spoilers. But if we have to live in a world where the prequels happened, I'm, and we do, I actually really prefer these TV shows and this TV series as being like the extra Star Wars information that you get. Because it kind of reminds me of the Star Wars like novels that the I read as a kid. Stuff, yeah, yeah. So, so it's more approachable to me to watch that way. I don't know. This is the best stuff to come out of the prequel in my opinion. Oh so, yeah, well for yeah. sure. But again, Barlow. I just like puppets, that's why I missed it. Puppets. Well, these are like puppets in computers. No, this one's good because yeah. it's all animated. We were all puppets when we bought the tickets to go see the prequels. So. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we really liked what we've seen. Uh, it's a bit darker, more mature than, than you would think. And if you are already a fan of the Clone Wars saga, you are already excited because you're looking forward to these episodes. Anyways, Star Wars geeks slash Netflix users in the US and Canada get excited because March 7th, we get more Star Wars like a lot more Star Wars to watch. When you watch the episodes, let us know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And until next time, may the Force be with you.